Hi everyone, Scott from Colour Space here. It's that time of the week again for us to take a moment from our daily hustle and bustle and just pause, stop and unwind for just a moment and look at a piece of artwork. We've got a challenging one today actually and this is an interesting one that I'm excited to talk about. So pens down, keyboards aside and let's take five with art. So the piece we're looking at today is called Noise Number no. 5 by artist Michael Hawkins. Michael is a New Zealand artist but he's now Melbourne based. His art style is predominantly drawing like, which is like this, but he uses a combination of screen printing, painting and even performance art to create his pieces. In particular, Michael likes to explore the theme of image saturation, which is where he crams lots and lots of detail into his works. And the question he always asks the audience is, when we're just bombarded with so much information, how do you decide what to look at? How do you pass that information? And what happens when you can't focus on anything in particular? So let's have a look at some of the technical aspects of this artwork. Now, Noise 5 is a quintessential open composition. And what that really means is that the image could conceivably go on and on and on were it not for uh, an arbitrary border, so to speak, around this art. In contrast, closed composition is when the subject matter is completely encased within the borders of the artwork. This piece is also interesting in that it breaks a couple of art traditional rules, so to speak. There is no single focal point for you to look at. Instead, there is just elements upon elements upon elements, which is the noise, so to speak. As a result, looking at a piece of artwork like this is like looking at a wall of text. It is basically indecipherable until you step up close to look at each individual element to say oh yes there are shapes in here that i recognize so of course as with all art appreciation we now go through the three basic steps step one straight up do you like michael's piece two if not are there any particular elements you like and of course three if you still don't like it then is this something that the artist has intended? Which in this case, I think it may have been. For me, straight up, I can't say whether or not I like this piece because at a quick glance, I have no idea what's going on. This is, as I think Michael has intended, that wall of information that says, well, it's just a jumble of stuff. Do I like this or do I not? It doesn't even have color in it for me to be able to say oh, yeah, I like maybe the color palette it is just like you know a literally a visual overwhelming of information so with so much going on this is a piece that really commands a high amount of effort and focus in order to even look at that step two of are there any particular elements of the artwork that you like and even when you do look a bit closer at this artwork a lot of the drawings are fairly crude and fairly simple and so it's also hard to say oh yes i mean i, I really like this particular rendition of a, a fire breathing lizard which of course brings us to step three is this something that the artist intended for us to feel and as we already know from michael's mo and from the name of this piece noise this effect is exactly what Michael wanted us to feel, that sense of being completely overwhelmed. And it makes us really question, well, with so much going on, how easy is it to just switch off from the whole thing and disconnect from a piece like this? Is that an experience that you can resonate with, that sense of being completely overwhelmed by stimulus and information that you just completely switch off from the whole thing? I mean, it certainly does Again, remind me of those times where I've put together a report for someone and it's gone, well, maybe I've put too much in here. I need to actually cut it back a bit so that people can understand what it is that I'm trying to convey to them. I hope they enjoyed looking at Michael Hawkins' piece with me today, or rather experiencing his piece. Now, get back to work. Mm -hmm.